here we are. In this hole lies the talk. Barnegat Inlet. It's a beautiful day. We've got West Wind at our back. These cool ass birds, I don't know what the hell they are, but they keep hanging out right in here with me. This hole is the magic hole. Tune in. I will say it probably like five or six times during this video. This is my favorite spot on this jetty. It always produces for me, especially on an incoming tide. That water fills up underneath these rocks and the tide come in to hunt all the crabs underneath and get out of the sun for some protection. And oh, it was just a great day to be out there. West wind blowing 15 miles an hour at your back. Couldn't beat it, man. Awesome start to a fall tog season. Yes, okay. Here you go, take two. A little Bob Super Jig, a little green crab. They're down there. Okay, just gotta get it in the hole the right way, like I said. Hopefully not get them hung up this time. The hole's hard to get into, but once you're in it, it's deep. It's like 10 foot deep hole right here. It's harder with a jig than it is with the rig. I might have to up the weight on this. Oh, nope, there we go, we're in. There we go. There's a togger. There's a togger. We snagged him, but he's there. Look at that. There's a the little toggy. Come on, darling. Oh, little, little itty bitty guy. Oh, little girl. Put it right back down her hole. Oop, there you go. Bam, baby. That's one. America. Okay, saw that first little guy. It's right about a death right there. It's all about dropping it in. You saw as soon as I put it in that spot, man. Whew, look out. Okay. We we're in the kill zone again. We're getting bit. Oh, son of a bitch. I swam up with it. This hole is like, <laughs> I love all the innuendos here, but this hole is straight up like the glory hole of glory holes. That's a better one guys, there we go. Oh yeah, look at that one, nice. It's that bottom sweeper jig baby, boom. There we go, guys. That's a good one right there. See, perfectly right in the corner of that mouth. I'm a big fan of the bottom sweeper jigs or the magic tail jigs. Why the hell is this in centimeters? <laughs> well, that's fun. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm not the brightest, smartest, sharpest tool in the shed some days. Oh, he's gonna be just short. He's about 13 and a half inches. We need 15 in Jersey right now. It's a solid start. Fish number two, baby. Look at that. Oop. Come on, you're going right back in the water right now. Relax. Chill. Good, put it right back down there. It's a friggin' frenzy down there right now. Absolute sleigh fest. <laughs> All right, here we go. Got to get it down through the right spot, like I told you though. If not, what can happen is you get stuck on that top rock, you're so beat. Oh, there we go. That's one jig gone, everybody. All right, tied on a magic tail jig. I got a little leader left. This is probably stupid, but I want to keep this party going. Come on, get in there. There's a layer of bergals up top that I'm really, really, really trying to avoid. Holy shit. Look at that, everybody. That's 
incredible. That's just insane. It's absolutely insane. <laughs> Look at that. There we go. Everybody casting all the way out. Here I'm standing in these rocks, having a good old laugher. I wasn't all the way to the bottom of that hole. See, here's the problem. I'm trying to get it down quickly. I'm using the lightest jig as I possibly can. Oh, there we go. We're all the way in this side. <sighs> yep, we're putting on 50 pound leader now. All right, everybody. We got a nice, I did 30, I didn't have any 50. Wish I had 50. 30 pound fluorocarbon top shot on there now. And we're back in. But like I said, getting it down there is the hardest part. I might have to put a heavier jig on. I can't get it past this level of regals. That are, as you can see, Literally crushing my baby before it gets in there. Got him. Little guy. Top shot, baby. Look at that. That hole is stuck. Okay. This little jig right there, Magic Tails, Bucktail, baby. Little itty bitty guy. Big bait, big fish. That's what we're gonna go with the theory here. Big bait, and like I said, we keep chumming our spot. Keep that crab set in the water. These tog ain't going nowhere, they're not shy. Peace out, crab beef and legs. All right, so what we're gonna do here. Quarter that one. They're down there. Make sure this one's hooked good. When they're aggressive like this. You can sometimes put on a little nugget, and all you're looking for is the slightest bite. They're gonna mount this whole piece. Gone in two seconds. Just want that barb sticking out just a little bit, and you're good to go. how active this was all right here we go let's try and get back in there try and drop it all the way down see yeah i'm gonna put a heavier jig on look at this i can't even get it into where i need to get it because these little ones are absolutely I'm just trying to get it in there and I can't get it down. Oh, there we go. Finally, back down into the deep spot again. Oh, there's a better one again. Oh, he's trying to take you into those rocks. You got to get them out. Get them out nice and straight. Oh, yeah. There we go. Money. Magic tail, baby. Look at that. That's a pretty one. Look at the teeth on them. Oh, yeah.
Oop. Be all right, right down into the hole. As I said, you get it down to that deeper hole, you're gonna be good to go. Take two with the heavier jig. So we fell down in that good spot again. Except, I forgot how deep it was. Ah, shit, we're losing our bait as we speak because I'm not in the right spot. Come on, get in there. Oh, there we go, we're into the cavern now. This video is going to be awesome, guys. You guys are seeing firsthand what these things can do. Again. Look at that again. Boom, baby. Got you, huh? I got the money spot, I'm telling you. <laughs> Boop. Look out. And down they go. How you making it up? That's like my ninth one out of that spot. Really? Yeah, it's my favorite spot. So, can't complain though, they're biting today at least. Yeah, yeah, we're biting today. Just need some salt. I just want, you know, one for the plates. So I need a little bit bigger yeah, one. Yeah, my buddy. Did he get a good one? Well, 15, 15 and a quarter. Guess what? 15 point anything. <laughs> yep, I'll take that all day, right? Have a good one. All right, everybody. We're back. Cut that bad section of leader off. Not worth losing another jig over. deep spot. That last one we pulled out was another 13, 14 incher. <sighs> Shit. They're absolutely crushing this fucking jig. Baby. Another one. I told you, man, I wasn't joking with you. Listen, on any other day, man, you know, you run across people, they're like, oh, you got the spot. I'm like, no, no, really, though. Like, I love these things, man. I'm not messing with you. It's like off this, wherever I am right here. Oh, it's like 15 feet deep right here, though. Really yeah, that's what my pops and I last uh, from spring we came up. Not last spring, last October. And we were just bored one day because we can't catch shit worth a striped bass last year. We're having bad luck, so we got some uh, got some crabs or whatever. And I said to him, I said, "Keep working." Came up to here, working, working, working. So I was like, "All right." I dropped in here just on a lark because I saw how the rock was cut. Here, watch. You'll see. The hardest part here, man, and like I've been saying it the whole time to myself, dude, like you see how I'm like trying to get it. Oh, there we go. See how much it falls off right there? Oh, shit. Watch this. See it already? Waiting for the good one. I might have already gotten stripped. Yeah, it don't take long. Nope, got him. Yeah. Uh, uh, 
trying to get this one out. This is a better one. Let's see him digging. There we go. Unfucking real, right? Please. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. I'm on my keep. Just keep it a secret, man. You can fish here when I'm not here, I promise. That's exactly, <laughs> yo, you know what's funny though? My dad's like, if he goes, he goes. My dad's like, you'll never find that hole again. I said, fuck, I won't. <laughs> I spent 20 minutes this morning and I was like, oh. <sighs> nah. Uh, you gotta plant him against he'd be gross. <laughs> but guess what? <sighs> Don't they? Here you go, right back in your hole. Here we go. We're using little pieces of crab. Same thing. Trying to get it down deep enough, quick enough. Holy shit! That's a better fish. Oh, he's taking line. Don't break me. That was a better fish. that that fish absolutely inhaled that jig that's why you give a spot a little bit to cool off come back to it all of a sudden bust with these things again this time. Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. There we go. As I said, we were gonna do it that time. And, oh, get him out of that hole, come on, don't break. Oh yeah, another one. Another one. I'd like to know where the gentlemen are at. All these ladies out here today. God, they are such thick fish. Here you go, you can go back and I'll put you on this hole over here. Now, you go deep.
my keeper. Come on, get out of there. Get out of there, come on. Yeah, nope, another short. <sighs> Hit like a keeper, felt like a keeper, not a keeper. There you go. Nice fish. It's hoggers, baby. Oh, this might do it. Nope. Oh, close again. I'm not trying to bullshit you. This is probably like the fucking 15th fish I got out of this hole. This has got to be closer. Oh, come on. What do you say? One for a table? So close, so far.